Hi, so this lesson is going to be on a blind Lemon Jefferson song called Corina Blues. And the tuning for this song is just standard tuning. And it's in the key of C. Okay, so really um, what I'll just do is go through the song once and get into the lesson. descending line first fret of the second string and then you go third fret second fret open on the third string and then you go first fret second fret on the fourth string and you complete it by going third fret of the fifth string open and back to the third fret Here's kind of a thing that he'll do throughout the song. He'll use this alternating kind of C bass. He'll play the C chord, A C chord, I should say. And then he'll go, he'll kind of move that bass from the third fret, nor the normal bass on the third fret of the fifth string. But then he'll move it to the third fret of the bottom string. So I would just like try and get a little bit used to that. You know, the best thing is to keep your, your two fingers here just stable on the second fret of the fourth string and first fret of the second string. So that you're only moving this. And that'll be good. So then from the top it's... strumming that you can kind of go up down and up or just down or which whatever you'd like the next part of the intro and kind of the last part of the intro is this lick which is really useful for the entire song and it's actually not too bad it's just that he plays it as a really like quick cluster so it sounds kind of intricate but it's not really that um, complicated it's just a bend on the fourth fret with the second string then he'll pull off on the fifth fret the top string to the third fret then you bend again on the fourth fret of the second string land on the third fret of the top string bend again last time on the fourth fret of the second string Then you go here, first fret of the second string, pull off from the second fret to open third string. And now you just strum out a few C chords. And that's really the intro, so it's this descending line. really on that last time on the C chord. All right, now it gets to the part of what he plays while he sings. And this part is where he goes, he does something like this. It's not really in time, it's still in time, but it's just a bunch of strums. And you're already in the C chord shape. 
because that was what was played at the end of the intro. So the only difference is that you add in the third fret of the top string. And then what I do with my pointer finger is I just kind of like turn it a little bit, just go up and down. I kind of rest my hand on the strings. I do that. Catching mostly just the top four strings. I think that's what he does. A lot of this stuff with Blind Lemon Jefferson I feel is like approximation because honestly the recording quality is just so kind of not the best. So, you know, it's a lot of you think he does this, you think he does that. But start with that. that, that's pretty close. And then you just go back into the C alternating. So. And now is another approximation. So for the four chord, I think something close to what he does is something like this. Some, some kind of four chord like that. So I kind of go around with my thumb and pluck the first fret of the bottom string. And then on the top four strings, I'm going third fret of the fourth string, second fret of the third string, and first fret of the top of the second string. Bass side, just an alternating bass. Sixth string to the fourth string. On the treble side, second and third strings, then third fret of the second string, back to the first fret. Third string, second fret, and then just repeat it. Then with the bass side, that's like that. And you can try adding this in. Really, just the same thing, except just for this moment. You go up. You can move your whole hand up. And then slide down like that. That's some kind of variation that you can play. But anyway, so so far it's this C alternating bass. again except when you play that lick you start it on the third fret of the top string and play that pull off hammer on the pull off and then you come back here first fret second string pull off from the second fret to open third string Here's the second difference from how it was in the intro. He does that walk up. So you play that third fret of the third fifth string, then you walk up on the fourth string. Play it twice and then walk up on the fourth string. Zero one two. After that, you play a C7 chord, normal C chord, but just add in the third fret of the third string. So I'll just start it from the four chord. Okay, now it's going back to the four chord. 
some more of that four chord that was played before. And then you land back in the C chord. So it's sort of like deja vu. Because we sort of did something like this before. Play the lick again. Except this time, when you play the lick, this time when you get out of the four chord and play the lick, since it's just around to go, since it's just about to go to the turnaround, whereas before it was just about to go into the four chord, now that it's into the turnaround, you don't play a C7. You just play a normal C chord. So just before getting into the turnaround, I'll just play everything again from the top. So you had this. Alternating C. And then this. This is the lick. Where you play the C7. turnaround and this is where it's really hard to hear what he plays but I think he might do something like something like that I kind of started like here Sorry, fourth fret of the second string and third fret of the top string. A slight bend on the second string. You can play a broken or together. And then you can play the F chord. Remember that four chord, but just these. You don't really need to play that bass, just the 3rd fret of the 4th, 2nd fret of the 3rd, 1st fret of the 2nd. Oh, I should mention that out of this, you can land on the 3rd fret of the 2nd. Hope this isn't too crazy and um, explained weirdly, but land on the 3rd fret of the 2nd. Then you play these. kind of G7, where it's the 2nd fret of the 5th, and then 3rd fret of the 2nd, and open G, open 3rd string. And then you add in that 2nd. And I kind of play broken, so treble side, and then... something that he plays that's a lot clearer and you can say for sure that he probably plays this G chord third fret of the bottom string no need to play this one no need to play the A string just bottom string third fret and then third fret of the top string with the open third and second strings he plays this so that's the first chord then the second chord it's like a D7 shape, but with an A with a fifth string open. Second fret of the third. Second fret of the third. First fret of the second. Second fret of the first. And fifth string. Now he plays a kind of G7 again. 
where he goes second fret of the fifth. Open third, open second, and first fret of the first string. And back to the C chord, and he walks up. almost going to guarantee that it takes a little bit of practice to remember it. exactly what to do. So yeah, that's really a chorus of what he plays, or at least a, gu a guess at what he plays. So it's this to start off with. Like that. Now for the outro, what he does is the same thing. He does that sequence of chords, but he goes third fret the bottom string, fifth string open, and lands on the first fret of the fifth string. That's really the outro. But yeah, uh, it's really uh, Corina by Blind Willie, or sorry, Blind Lemon Jefferson. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Really hope that it was clear enough and um, hope to see you.